Thank you very much for this opportunity. My name is Zay. I'll be presenting on our work, Virtual Reality for Surgical Prehabilitation and Rehabilitation, a qualitative study of breast surgery patients' experience and perspective of perioperative VR physical therapy. To begin with, upper extremity functional morbidity is common after breast surgery. It is reported in 10 to 60% of patients. PT greatly improves functional outcomes, but is underused due to lack of access. VR is a new technology that's able to provide a simulated experience in a virtual environment for users. And our study looks at patient experience with VR physical therapy. And our results shows that VR is a promising way to deliver perioperative PT content in an engaging, scalable, and affordable manner. On to our methods, we recruited 10 patients who had previously underwent breast surgery. They went through a VR-enabled PT session for about 10 to 15 minutes, followed by a 20 to 30-minute semi-structured interview. The interview was then transcribed, coded, and underwent inductive thematic analysis. Now onto our results. Nine of the 10 participants we had were women, and the average age was 55 years old. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that 80% of the participants agreed or strongly agreed that number one, they liked the VR experience, and number two, they would use VR to get ready for or recover from surgery. There are four main themes that emerged from the interview analysis. The first theme is that patients were confused about why they needed prehabilitation or rehabilitation. The first sub-theme is that before surgery, their mental stress often trumped their physical concerns before surgery. This patient talked about that before surgery, their mind is more praying, hoping, and positive reinforcement. The second sub-theme is that the need for motivation and rationale to exercise. This patient in a quote talked about that for older people, it's often hard to motivate them to do anything at all. And if VR is there, maybe they'll have more motivation to at least do something. The second main theme is why VR is a platform to do PT. And we found that the user experience depend on the perceived necessity of the VR platform. The first sub-theme is that patients found the immersive nature of VR quite enjoyable. This patient commented that they really like the comfort of doing PT from this place, but it's not here. It's like they're going to a park or a hike and doing stretches there from the comfort of their home. And they really like the part that they're somewhere pleasant, that's near the mountains, there's a lake, there's a deer, and, they, you don't, you, and you don't normally see that in traditional PT. They liked how real it felt that they're doing PT there. The second sub-theme is that VR content should be very specific in order to be enjoyable, otherwise it feels extraneous. This patient says that at one point during the VR experience, they almost felt like they're watching TV, and that was a bit weird for them. The third main theme is that the successful engagement in VRPT requires tech support and specific personalized coaching. The first sub-theme is that technical assistance is required because new technology can be very intimidating for patients who has no previous experience with virtual reality. The second sub-theme is that coaching, progress tracking, and individualized exercise routines are preferred especially for patients who often have different levels of physical restrictions and pain levels, especially after surgery. And that brought us to our last main theme. VR as a novel platform has potential for perioperative PT, but also some important drawbacks that we as providers should know. The number one sub-theme is that VR mitigates barriers to traditional PT, such as long wait time and commute. One patient said that they will probably recommend VRPT for other patients, especially if they cannot get to a therapy clinic or their copay is too high or they don't want to leave their home or they're immunocompromised due to chemo and shouldn't be going out. The second sub-theme is that VR could be potentially helpful in coping with perioperative anxiety. One patient says that these VR exercises could go a long way, especially before surgery when they're very stressed. The VR is so calming before surgery that this patient thought she could see people using the VR exercises multiple times a day. The last sub-theme is that VRPT has some drawbacks, mainly related to the hardware and lack of individualized feedback and manual therapy. And that leads us to our conclusion that VR is a promising way to deliver perioperative PT to breast surgery patients because it's immersive enjoyable, convenient, and potentially helpful for coping with anxiety. 
The success requires number one, patient education, personalized coaching, tech support, and suitable content that really takes advantage of VR's capacities. The limitation is due to the lack of PT feedback and no manual therapy. We're currently looking at feasibility and effectiveness studies for, PT, uh, for VRPT in surgical patients, and hopefully we'll have more results for y'all soon. Thank you.